Hey guys, it's Jaylon and welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for Turn and Burn. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Jessica. And for this project, I like to focus on three different categories. If you've seen these videos before, you know what I do. But I work on my like deluxe items, skincare, body care, etc., not makeup. And I have a queue where I have kind of stuff set aside to pull from once I finish items that I'm working on. I also work on my foil samples. I usually work on between 20 and 25 at a time. And then at the end, I will share with you perfume samples that I'm working on. So we're going to start with beauty deluxe sizes. <laughs> I will leave timestamps below as usual. So let's get started. I only have, well, I only shouldn't say only. I have four empties for this month. The first one is the L'Occitane Essential Water. I, I've talked about this in my empties. I do not like this at all. Never would purchase this. I didn't like the sprayer. I didn't like the product. It smelled meh, weird. No, not for me. Next item I finished is by Sabon. It's the Refresh Hand Mist. I did not use this as a hand mist. I use this to clean my wax warmers. I have a warmer back there and it's hand sanitizer is perfect to clean out uh, the dishes. And so I use this for that. Whatever, I don't need hand sanitizer anymore. I also finished this Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peels. There were 10 in here. You can see I went ahead and saved them all. I did use every single one up. So that is done. I do enjoy this product, but I think I would prefer to use that like once a week versus the way I used it was pretty regularly. I think I prefer using for the like majority of the time the Sunday Rally Good Jeans. <laughs> Couldn't think of it. And then using this like every once in a while moving forward. The last time I finished, I just finished this today. I'm so excited. This is the Sabon Dead Sea Mud Mask. I quite like this. I was very surprised at how much I enjoyed this mud mask. It's kind of a thinner consistency mud mask and I don't know why I, I, I enjoyed it. If I was going to get a mud mask, this would be one that I would like. This is probably more affordable than the one from Mae Lindstrom, which is I think $80 for a jar. Oh yeah, I did enjoy that. All right, now for the items I am working on. First ones I'm gonna talk about are the ones I was working on last month. I have the Skylar Renewing Hand Cream. I may have used this one once. This was in my purse. I'm focusing on hand creams that are in projects that end of December. I'm really close to finishing one and I've got another one that I have sitting over there by my bed side, on my bedside table that I use on my feet. But yeah, this one, I think once I finish those two, I'll pull this into consistent rotation, but I'm gonna keep this one in my purse for whenever I need it when I'm out and about. By Sabon, I have the Floral Mask Gelée. This is also nice. It's not my favorite hydrating mask, but I, you know, I'm enjoying it for what it is. I don't think this is one that I would repurchase though. So I'm about halfway done with this. I'm kind of alternating between this one, sheet masks, and other hydrating masks and projects. The next thing I have is the Hemp's Body Moisturizer in Blackberry and Lemongrass. This is actually close to being finished. It's down here. I'm hoping I can have this finished before the next update. I've got a body lotion I'm working on that is in a project that ends, I think, middle of December. And then I've got a body moisturizer that's in a project that ends in December. Once I'm finished with those two and I'm close on the, the other hemp's one I'm working on, I'll work on this and get this one finished since I'm so close. The last item I was working on previously is this Molten Brown Shower Gel in Infusing Eucalyptus. I don't think I use this. I am now working on a bunch of minis. I have one I just finished today. So, and there's a bunch in this project. Those are gonna be the ones that I focus on next. So this one should be done before the next update as well. Now for items I was not working on last month, but I have pulled into the project and started using. By Bare Minerals, I have the Skin Longevity Long Life Herb Serum. So as you can see, I am about almost halfway done with this. I am using this in the morning. I mix it with a collagen serum that I have that I don't think does anything, but I'm using it. 
And so I use those two together and I'm quite enjoying that combination. Next, I have the Supergoop Glow Screen Sunscreen. This is SPF 40. I love this. I really like the sunscreen. It does provide a bit of a glow. I would totally purchase this. I like it. <laughs> it doesn't pill with, it doesn't like react with other skincare that I'm using or makeup primers that I put on and it doesn't pill. And that's a problem I've had with sunscreens before. Anyway, I really do enjoy that. I'm surprised by how much I like it. Next, I have the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask, this deluxe size. I have been using this. You can see that's my progress there. I typically don't use this at night. I like to put this on like during the day if I'm kind of working around the house, taking care of things, and I just I want to get a hydrating mask, I'll put something like this on. So I do enjoy that mask quite a bit. I don't know if I'll have this finished before the next update, but I may be close. This one definitely will be. It's the Fresh Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. I do enjoy this essence quite a bit. You can see I have about a third of it left. So this will definitely be done. And then lastly, what I'm working on is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose Perfume. It's a still size. This one has been on the project a long time and I'm finally getting to it. I actually decanted it into this atomizer and so there it is. I think I've used this once but I did start working on it, so yay. Okay, now for the items that are in my queue that I haven't touched. I have this Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine. I actually do think I've used this a couple of times, but it's not really for this time of year, so I'm focusing on things that are for this time of year, and I may kind of set this one like on the back burner for a while until spring is what I'm thinking because I have this one from Skylar as well. It's in Winter Spirit. And this one, as you can see, I have not used. This one is this, these are, you know, roller balls. Anyway, this one's more, I think, like for this time of year. This is Aged Plum Vanilla Bean and Warm Amber. It smells lovely. So yeah, this is probably the one I'll roll in after I finish the Elizabeth and James perfume over the Atelier Cologne one. I have the Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. So I just finished a full size moisturizer today. I have another one that's in a, pro a full size that's in a project that ends in February. So I think what I'm gonna do is I have one that's in my 100 Colorful Empties. So I think I'm gonna finish that one first and then I'm gonna go ahead and work on, is it this one that's the oldest? I think this one's been in the project the longest. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and focus on this one, get one of these out, because I have two other moisturizers in this project. So I would really love to get at least the Clinique one done and then we'll see about like, you know, the other ones that I've got going on. I kinda wanna make progress on the one that's in, the NFL project, which ends at the like middle of February. And I wanna make sure I get that one done before that project ends. I have two other shower gels. This is the L'Occitane Shower Oil. So this one and the Molten Brown, and then this one from Sabon, it's the Shower Oil and Rose Tea. I'm hoping to get all three of these done before the next update. That would be awesome. Then I have by Josie Marin, the Whipped Argan Oil. This is the unscented version. Now this, I don't think I'm gonna get to before the next update because again, I have this hemp's, and then I'd have to look and see what else I'm working on to see when other lotions need to get finished. I may work on this one after the hemp's, but I, I have to kind of prior see, what, see, what need, see what needs to be prioritized. From Biosance, oh, I didn't see this one. This is Biosance Squalene Omega Repair Cream. This one I think I can use at night. So I've got a moisturizer I'm working on that's in 50 Shades of Yellow. I think I've got a moisturizer after it that I need to finish, but I want. I think I may go ahead and start working on this one because I'm really close to finishing the one from Pharmacy and I can go ahead and work on this one kind of in the meantime, maybe alternate. So I may do that. I have this Cora's Nourishing Probiotic Gel Cream. This is also a moisturizer, probably more for daytime for me, so it may get set aside for a while. I don't have any like trips coming up. I may have one in February. 
Then I have the Philosophy Take a Deep Breath Oil-Free Oxygenating Gel Cream. Again, another daytime moisturizer that I'll get to at a later point. And then the last thing I have in my queue is the L'Occitane Immortal Reset Serum. And this one, I think I'm going to roll in maybe after this one, after the Bare Mineral Skin Longevity. I can use this morning or night. So that may be what I do with that. So let me see. This is where I kind of have to figure out like what am I going to, how many items am I going to roll in? I plan to have this, 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 and this finished. These four items finished before the next update. I'll have the kombucha finished. Um, I'm going to roll in this pep start cream. I'm going to roll in the Biosance. I will probably get some use on the Skylar perfume. Oh, I'm sorry, I have one more thing. This is the Balance Me Beauty Sleep Hyaluronic Mist. Okay. I am probably gonna go ahead and roll this one in to use as a pillow mist. So I have one perfume, two moisturizers, a body cream, and a serum that I haven't like officially that I think I won't be able to t get to. So I'm gonna roll in, that's gonna take a while. This perfume is gonna be a while before I get to it. I'm gonna roll in six, six items. Maybe too many, but I'll, I'd rather have too many than too few. And that was an arbitrary number. That'll give me like 10-ish items in the queue that I can work on. So let me pull up Will and Ames. All right, we're, pu we're pulling six. Before I get started, I don't think I have anything that I'm gonna say no to right now. If I get another shower gel, I'll probably say that's it. Yeah, all right, here we go. Let's see what we get. Oh, this is a really old product, St. Ives Apricot Scrub. Okay, that'll work. Number two is a, a Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. All right, that is currently in my like travel bag, so I will pull that out so it has some use on it already. Perfect, and actually I'm in need of a new, I'm, I'm about to finish an eye cream, a hydrating eye cream, so I'll roll that one right away in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull in seven. This is three, four, three, I don't remember. Shiseido Ultimune Eye Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. I think that's the one I'm using. Okay, we'll leave it in. We'll leave it in, but I don't think I'm gonna get to it for quite some time. Look who's here. Hi. Hello, baby. Wow. Sweet boy. Huh. So I may go ahead and pull another product in for that one because I don't think I'll get to it for a while. And the reason why I say that is because I've got one that I'm working on for a project before the end that ends this and ends in December. I've got another one that's a deluxe size that is either that one or a duplicate of that that's also in my hundred colorful empties I need to finish. So I won't get to them for a while. Anyway. Oh, dang it, another one. Okay, this is the last one. Strivective, Strivectin Intensive Eyes Concent Intensive Eye Concentrate for Eyes. Wow. Come here. Wow. He deserved a little bit of a mark from my lip. Okay. So there we go. I don't even I have to look at how many numbers. How many items I've pulled so far. He is distracting me. Laneige Water Bank Hydro Essence Serum. Okay. So that is five. So I'm pulling three more. Where are you going? All right. Number five is another perfume in Skylar Isle. Number six. is Philosophy Amazing Grace Shampoo Bath and Shower Gel. It's a four ounce size, okay. 
Number seven. I'm trying to remember that one. I don't remember it, but who knows? And lastly, oh, this is perfect. Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. 7.5 mil size. All right, let me go grab these. I will be right back. Okay, I'm gonna roll in one more because one of the items I'm also using or had started to use. So we're gonna roll in one more. Lancome Visionaire Advanced Multi-Correcting Cream. Okay, I'll be right back with that. Can't find it. It could be already in my advent calendar for next year, but I don't know because I didn't pick the items. Valerie did. So I don't know if it's there or if it's just missing. Okay, Belief uh, Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. I don't know where that is either, and that's to me a sign that, you know, it's time to move on. There's one thing that uh, I got, okay, so while I was off camera, I realized I had three items I was working on, so I went ahead and rolled again, and I got the Cora's Foaming Cream Cleanser. I'm already working on that in another project, and it's actually almost finished, so I didn't pull that one out. I probably didn't even need to tell you about it, <laughs> but I am. So these are the three items that I pulled that I already have progress on. The Laneige Water Bank Hydro Essence. This, you can't even tell, but it's like down to here. I have this in my travel bags. So I'll pull this out and, and continue to work on it. The Shiseido Ultimune Eye Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. I'm not sure where this is, but it is an item I'm working on for my 100 colorful empties. Let's see, yeah, it's pretty, I think it's pretty full, but once I finish the other eye serum I'm working on, this will be next. So yeah, that will immediately go into I'm working on camp because I'm almost finished with that other product. And then the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. I do have progress on this one as well. As you can see there, there's not a ton left in here. There's a little bit left in the lid there. But this one will pretty much get use in the next, I'll start working on this in the next like four or five days. So those are automatically going into I'm working on Q. So then I have four that I pulled that will get put into the Q section. Amazing Grace Shampoo, Bath, and Shower Gel by Philosophy. So this one's a larger size, four ounce. I'll work on the other shower gels first before I even touch that one. The St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. I have not bought this in a long time, but I did buy these samples for like when I travel, but I haven't used them forever. So I'm just, I'm trying to work on them. There's Milo. Bye. I have the Skylar Isle perfume. So this one, let me see what this smells like. I'm thinking it's gonna be a spring perfume. Can't even smell it. There we go. It smells like kind of a greeny floral. Yeah, that's definitely more of a spring perfume. So this one will kind of get set to the side. And I'll work on that one once I get through my winter stuff. And then the last thing I have is a Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. I have another product that I'm working on now that I need to get uses on and a project. But once I've hit my uses on that, I will work on this. I think I actually prefer this one to that one. It's the May Lindstrom Clean Dirt or something like that. This is a much better product. Okay, all right, we'll just deal with this, what it is. So I will put all this stuff away and we will talk about foil samples. Okay, let me share with you the foil samples that I finished. I didn't get through a ton this month, but I did finish some. So I have the Pacifica Vegan Ceramide Hydration Fill Under Eye and Smile Line Jelly Patches. I actually like these. It was kind of weird because they came in the style where you peeled off like a front and back piece before you got to the the hydrogel patches themselves and I think the first time I used this I may have used what was supposed to be just the like the backing because I didn't know anyway these are done then I have okay these were both the merit foundation sticks I had the shade bisque and cream and I finished both of those I finished the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Fiji. This was way too dark for me. 
I actually used it today and I had to do a lot of mixing to get it to semi work. I used another NARS lightweight radiant foundation. Actually, I think this is the one that was too light or too dark. This was definitely too dark. This is light five. This one was way too peachy. This was Yukon light 2.5. Now this one has product in it because I had some left over from another one I'll show you here in a minute that I'm still working on. So I actually have it sealed and set aside because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. I finished the Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Medium to, medium to Full Coverage Foundation. This was in light beige. I don't like that foundation very much. And the rest of what I have are lip products. I did good with lip products, you guys. I finished the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry. I love that one. I finished the, oh, what was this one? This one I think was, oh, there's still some product in here. Let's just, <laughs> the Buxom Lip Polish in the shade Brand. I finished this duo of the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick and Bond Girl and Pillow Talk. Those were both lovely. I have the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Big Bang. Finish that. And then this was the Dior Rouge Liquid Lipstick in Poison Metal. I did not like this. It was very, this was a, a dark shade. I did manage to use it all up. It was too dark for me, but it wasn't the, it was the consistent. I did not like this consistency. So yeah, I finished five lip products. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. I have one other one I finished that I don't know where the sample is. Yeah, I finished one more. The one I finished was the Urban Decay uh, Sheer Lipstick in Seismic, but I don't know where it is. But I did finish five, so I only have two remaining. All right, and then the, uh, the last two items are finished are Sugar Scrubs by The Bathing Garden. They're both The Bathing Garden. I have Lavender Sleep. I quite like this one. I would purchase that one again. And Salty Siren, I love the scent. I would also purchase that one again. So those are the items that I finished. Now for the items I'm working on, I have two lip products. They're both by Laura Mercier. They're both the Extreme Matte Lipstick. I have the shade Boss and the shade Ruthless. So I did put these on today. I mean, they're gonna take me forever to finish. It's crazy. And then I've got this, oh, Corez. Was this Corez? No, I'm sorry, Kosas Revealer Concealer in Fairlight Neutral. This is not a shade for me. Fairlight Neutral is, in my opinion, not Fairlight Neutral. It is very, like, yellow. It's, it's, it's not neutral at all. And that is how much is left. So I will manage, figure out a way to work, make it work. I used it today and it worked out fine. It's just, it's not a shade match for me whatsoever. So those are the three items I am working on. Now for the items, well, I shouldn't say that because this one I've used a little bit of. This is the Swanky Body Butter and I've used it, but it's really very, very thick consistency. I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull this aside and put it on my bed, but I've got some other products I need to finish first. So I'm not gonna do that quite yet. I'm not gonna do that quite yet. Other items that I have not touched, the Dr. Dennis Gross Extra Strength Daily Peel. I have the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. Again, I won't get to this till I finish that Shiseido one. Same with the next two. Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate. And the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. I'm not allowing myself to bring in any more of these. Then I have the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. The Kiehl's Retinol Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum. I should roll that one in. Summer Friday's CC Me Serum. The Biosance Squalene and Marie Algae Eye Cream. Actually, yeah, I'll pull this one as well. I'm gonna go ahead and set those aside because I wanna go ahead and roll those in. Damn Damn Nomad's Cream Purifying Cleanser. The Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. Pharmacy Honey Halo Moisturizer. Love that one. 
Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I'm gonna put that one aside too to use. All right, and then I think, well, no, I was gonna say the rest of them are makeup, but no, I have the Skin Fix Barrier Lipid Boost 360 degree eye serum. I think that's a serum and not like a moisturizer. And then I've got, the rest of this is makeup. So I have the YSL New Bare Look Tint in the shade number two. This is, ooh, what is this one? Okay, I think this is the It Cosmetics CC Nude Glow in Fair Ivory. I have the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in Light Medium. I am, I am able to work on these concealers that I have. This one is the YSL Tushy Clock Concealer in 2.5, too dark for me, but I'll make it work. I have the Danessa Myricks, it's gonna take me forever to get to these, Vision Flush in both Bread and Butter and Sweet Nectar. The Rose Ink Blush in Azalea, this is a cream blush in Azalea. And, oh, I'm sorry, this is the Urban Decay and Seismic. I have not used this one yet. I lied, I lied. So I have three lip products I'm still working on and three that I finished. Okay, this one's very, very deep, but it's a sheer lipstick. So I'm hoping that it won't be too difficult. And lastly, I have this NARS Dual Intensity Blush in Panic. I'm actually gonna put this in my drawer so I remember to use it because I need to I need to use that one. So those are all the foil samples I currently have. So let me count these up. I'm not counting the four eye serums because I really can't touch them for a while. So I have 17. So I am 17, 18, but I'm using that one and I'll finish it soon. And so I'm gonna pull seven foil samples. Not a ton this week, which is fine. And then I'm gonna pull four lip products. Actually, let's do the lip products first. So four lippies. Here's my lippy bag, foil blister pack. Let's see if I can do this right. And I don't, I mean, I feel like I pull the same ones each and every time. So let's see. One, two, three, and four whatever this is. Okay, this one is, it just says Rebel Chic on it. M11 Rebel Chic, that is a very dark, deep, deep shade. Okay, we have this guy, which is the, what do they call this? I think this is a Chantecai thing. Oh uh, no, Clay de Poe. Clay de Poe Beauté. This is their, Liquid Rouge. Oh, maybe it says it on the front. Radiant Liquid Rouge Matte. And there are four shades here. Let's see. I think I'm going to pull Delicious Dream, which is this first one. All right. There's that one. Then I have the YSL. This is their Creamy Stain. And there are three shades here, Rouge Vinyl, Rouge Remix, and Explicit Pink. So I'll pull that in. There's like all reds here. And then I, gosh, darn it. And then I have this thing. So I'm gonna pull in the shade. Oh man. You know what? I'm gonna do the red. I'm gonna do Psycho, which is a comfort matte because I am, I know there's a lot of reds here, but I am working on the, like finishing up my Narvina palette and it's almost always a warm look that I can do reds with. So I, I might as well get used on these reds while I can. So we'll put these pinks and purples back in. And then the Clay de Poe Beauté back in here as well. All right, so we have our four lippies. Now, what did I say, seven? I'm just going to do 10. 10 of my foil samples. Here are my foil samples. This bag needs to be replaced. It's a sad state. I have added some things to this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. What did I get? 
Okay, the first thing I have, oh, I like this product. The Dr. Jart Ceramidin Skin Barrier Moisturizing Cream. I do like this product quite a bit. Next up, we have a body butter from Zape. This is in Holiday Cheer. This is a wax vendor that I got the sample from. So that is skincare, we'll put body care, we'll put that over there. Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. Oh, I can, another Dr. Jart Ceramide and Skin Barrier Moisturizing Cream. So I got two of those. From Westman Atelier, ooh, this is exciting. I have the Vital Skincare Complexion Drops. It says easygoing, radiant, and packed with serum strength actives for when you want your skin so fresh, so flawless. It's like you just had a quick facial. So they are the four shades, and I'm going to go with light because that's what I am right now. So we'll pull this guy in, and I will put this back but i can probably only do the medium unless i mix these with like lightning drops like white drops but i may just end up gifting those from herbivore i have the pink cloud soft moisture cream another pharmacy honey halo love that product from okay this is a shampoo from durkos technique Thickening shampoo. Actually, this is, I guess, a Vichy brand. Let me just see what the ingredients are. Oh, yeah, I can't use this. So I'm going to set this one aside to gift, and I'll pull another product here in a minute. From Clarins, I have the Double Serum. Ooh. And from Giorgio Armani, I have the World Famous Luminous Silk Foundation. So I'll just pull this whole thing in to work, whoops, work on. Here are the shades here. I'm thinking I might just mix all four, except for these, or all six of those shades together, leaving out the two deepest shades, and, and then, you know, mix it with what I already am working on. Okay, let me pull one more. Okay, so Wasu, Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Cream. That's a moisturizer. All right, so I only ended up getting one makeup item, except for the lippies I pulled. Everything else was skincare and body care. Not bad. All right, let me put this stuff away and we will talk about perfume samples. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also have this MAC Mascara in, in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. I'm working on an under like a lower lash line mascara now, but this one will get pulled in soon for that. I forgot about that product. All right, perfume samples. I don't think I finished any. How many are here? Yeah, I didn't finish any. Let's see, are any of these close? I have one that's close. Let me show you what I got. I didn't finish any. I've been focusing on other things. From Flower Bomb, I have Bloom, or I have Flower Bomb Bloom. That's the one that's almost finished, as you can tell. So, you know what? <laughs> I have one perfume empty for this month. From Ellis Brooklyn, I have a price. From Atelier, I have Sued Magnolia. From Floral Street, I have Chippery Sublime. From, what is this? Dolce & Gabbana, I have light blue. It's in one of those dauber things, so I don't like that. From Clean Reserve, I have Radiant Nectar. From Clean Reserve, I have Lush Fleur. From Versace, I have Bright Crystal. From Toka, I have Cleopatra. From Burberry, I have, or it says My Burberry, I have Blush. And lastly, from Rag & Bone, I have Oddity. So that leaves me with 10. I think this month I'm not gonna roll any new ones in. I only finished one <laughs> and I'm back down to like the number that I like, which is 10. So I'll, I'll try to focus on finishing a couple of these before the next update. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it at 10. That's, that's kind of a boring section, but I'm sorry. All right, that is everything for this update. I think it may be a little bit shorter than normal. I'm not 100% sure, we'll see. So I was doing my outro and I realized I have lipstick on my teeth. So I'm gonna do it again.
that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So I have a few here. These are the ones, the first ones I'm going to by Bare Minerals. I have these Skin Longevity Long Lurf. Long Lurf. <laughs> okay, bye.